Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with a let's get inky video. <laughs> Waffle Flower has some new shader brushes. Before they have a whole set of brushes including full-size brushes in colors and I will put a link for all their brushes. There was a set one which I actually have some of here. I bought a sampler pack of the first set, shader one, two. Now they have the shader plus. So it's like shader two, shader three with a plus sign. As you can see in the past, I bought this, but I didn't use these. So in this video, I'm going to also learn how to use these shader brushes. I understand that the technology has changed before the original set of brushes. You would gradually build color with these new set of brushes. Color goes on quickly. Why would you want something like that? You want to move at a certain speed. Or if you're like me and you get wrist fatigue, you have arthritis, you don't have all day to be blending because after a while it gets painful. These might be the brushes for you. These are also great if you're stenciling. Waffle Flower was kind enough to send me these items to play with. This I purchased myself. Grip mats are now back in stock. Remember, if you want a grip mat, for your Misty. At the original size, you're looking at six and a half by eight and a half. I watched a video the other day and she opened up her Misty. She got that five and a half inch and I was just like looking at the video going, oh gosh, that was so painful, wasn't it? Because she's a whole inch off. So I will be linking the grip mat below and I'm going to put a special link just for the Misty <laughs> so you get their size. Please don't rush in and pick the first one that you see because you might get the wrong sizing. There is even a grip mat for the mini Misty. I'll put a link for that as well. Using the grip mat, 99% of what I'm doing with it is actually stamping. This thing holds cardstock, no shifting. I guess because it's one big photopolymer, it's fabulous in your Misty. It's your Misty's crafty assistant, Misty's best friend. This one, I wanted to get the bigger one because I had the six by six, but I wanted a bigger space to then ink die cuts. The six by six, I was feeling claustrophobic with it. So I got the bigger size. This would also go in your waffle flower media mat. Speaking of waffle flower, before I forget to tell you, there is a special sale going on. I will put a link for it and I'm showing you the graphic here. It's called the moving sale. There are some discounts in there on a whole bunch of items, okay? I did order a few things and it goes, I think, until the 14th. I got my big girl. <laughs> We're going to use the eight and a half inch. It comes with two guides. You guys know I love to ink blend on my Glassboard Studio glass craft mat. I don't hold it down and I don't use the magnets. Now at this sizing, see how it's fitting both of my hands? This is comfy for me. More room to spread everything out because I am not the neat little inker. Even though the brushes are this small, I still get ink everywhere. I just, yeah, I'm a bad stencil-er. <laughs> I am removing the carrier sheet so I can then put it on my glass board. And the grip mat likes to be on the glass board, which is nice too. Let me go straight here, dead center. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I'm loving this eight and a half inch. Oh, happy, happy. <laughs> can you tell? Now let me show you some of the items they sent me. See, it says shader two quarter inch flat tip brush. Before I have... I know I bought one sampler pack and you can purchase a sampler pack too. This is called the Shader Brush Plus Sampler Pack. This is now the new set of brushes. I bought the old set. So these are the ones I have so I can test side by side. With them, you're getting everything in this collection. There is also a version of this one. It would be Shader One Plus Double Ended, like brush up here, brush down here. Fabulous to put in a little thing if you're going traveling. I get five of them and that would be 10. Shader one plus. Ah, oh, softer, stiffer. I love to use these type of small ones for cheeks on a die cut or something really small. Floral colors. That's why you're seeing the pink, the green, and that purple. Stiffer. And this one. Yeah, yeah, this is just a little bit more give. So you're supposed to be able to ink quicker. They also sent me this one, which is a whole bunch of these. Thank you so much, Waffle Flower. 15 in the pack for the shader too. So you can get a lot of colors with this. And they're all packaged up nicely. Oh, look at that. And they sent me some stencils to play with. And some sentiments. Sub-sentiments, Christmas tree die cut. 
you get all these fabulous sentiments. This one is a stitching one. Ooh, can use that with his stitching projects. Sub sentiments, kindness, die cut. Then this one is sending hugs, bear hugs, everything. <laughs> Love that too. Sub sentiments, hugs. Whole lot of sentiments in here. Happy birthday, hearts for sharing, paper hugs. Label maker sentiments, die cut. It is true. It does look like a label maker. Like that little circular one we used to use back in the day. This one is Essential Sentiment Sheets. I actually have this in the stamp set. This I saw in the sale, both this version and the stamp set. So this is fabulous. It does come with a coordinating die option too, if you wish. So that's fabulous, Essential Sentiments. Thank you so much. And that's white with silver foiling. They also sent me the Folk Art Floral. There is a new collection too for the cat lover out there. So I will link that as well. Multiple presents, die and stencil. There is the die, here is the stencil. That's what I'm gonna use in this video. There is also fall leaves background. If I have a little more time, I'll use this one too in the video. And they also sent me snowfall background stencil. These are great if you're making scenes. This had sold out a bunch of places, but I was able to find it. Postage Collage Fall. So there is Postage Collage Christmas. I already have that one. I have the coordinating die. Now I have the fall. My own purchase. Loved this set. I have a video too coming. Scrapbook.com haul. I filmed it. I just need to edit it down. Dotted Labels Christmas. There is a coordinating die to this too. Super pretty. This is what got me right here. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and the happiest new year. So pretty. To go along with my postage collage, I also have this, which is the stamp set, postage collage fall. There's a Christmas version with this too. It's just so cute. And the price point, not bad at all. So I have my sampler pack that they sent me. Thank you so much. You'll get two rounded shader zero plus shader one plus. So this one is slimmer. I have another brand of this which was just like this tiny, it drove me crazy. But see this, I can have it in my hand. It feels almost like a good makeup brush. This one too. <laughs> but when it has that feel, you'll use it. Like you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is the shader two plus, and that's the flat top. What is this one called? Is this one called round top? I'll put the proper name of what this is called. So there are like five sets of this. The fifth one would be this one, Brush here, brush here. It's a two-sided, okay? With a good price point too. Yeah, flat tip. And this one is the shader number three. So you'll see the proper names here on the screen for these. Let me go into the gifts. This is a five and a quarter by six and a half inch stencil. Yeah, I can just look at it and know I'm like, that's not a six by six. Here is the die. For this, I'm going to be using my Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy cardstock. I love this. I get this from Amazon. It's a hundred pound, 250 sheets. You buy this, it'll last you for a very long time. This cardstock is great for ink blending, Copic coloring. It takes alcohol markers and also the Glimmer Machine. I really had bought it for the Glimmer Machine. <laughs> My stencil is sticking here. I really had bought this for my Glimmer Machine, but I've been using it for everything else. Stick it down. Now, I did make this bigger because I already know that I'm going to be taping this out. Here will come down here. So I'm going to use some mint tape. That's just my thing. I am really messy when it comes to this. This is another option is to use that carrier sheet for your grip mat as a mask. But I'm going to go in with my mint tape because the mint tape also gives me a break with my eyes. My eyes have just been like, uh-uh, <laughs> for real. They've just been giving me all sorts of issues. The stencil looks like it goes in this order. See, I'm just jumping in without even knowing how the stencil goes, but I can see waffle flower up here and then down here, the bottom. <laughs> Let's go with Alta New Pool. I just got this the other day, Purple Wine and Cosmic Berry. Love. I have these two from Altenew. This is a four pack. I only have a few of these. I'm bringing in my ink stand as well. It's going to be up here. I already have pink from before. So let's go the old one and the new one. Shader one, shader one plus. So this is with the older one, shader one. I'm not going to tap it here. I'm going to tap it off over here because this can stain and this is pink. Okay, so you're seeing what I'm doing. That's the first one. So I would come in like so. 
and done. Then I come in with this one, shader plus one. I'm going to do the next present. Ooh. Ooh, wait a second. Look at the ink pickup. Look how much darker this is than this. Wow. Like, it's absorbent. Okay, you see the difference right there? Look how you're seeing. Same color. Look at that. Oh, you know, I'm liking this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look how much ink it got. Wow, side by side. Old and new. Okay. Yeah, I can see the difference already. You should wipe off your brushes when you're using ink like this. This is dye ink. Clean it off in a microfiber cloth. I love to buy my microfiber cloth bundle. Amazon. Yeah, I'll link it below. <laughs> you guys are like, yes, Suzanne, I know you're going to say it. Of course I am. It's a fantastic... Look, even cleaning it. Shader one, shader two. Look how cleaning it is coming off with a lot of ink. This is really nice. Now let's go into this. Oh, let me go with the darker color. All right. This is Cosmic Berry. This is in the same line at Alta New. This is shader two. So this is a regular. I just didn't know how to use this. So, so you would go, is it like this? Is it feathering? Maybe it's feathering. See how it's shading? Okay, it's feathering. Kind of like a feathery thing for my present and like so okay see how much ink comes up now let's go into oh so shader 2 originally was wider now it's smaller in the shader 2 plus this one is called shader 3 plus you see but over here the original shader 3 is wider okay so they even made a smaller footprint for this I think it's probably out of control so this is now smaller but hey you get more in the pack look at that look at the ink pickup all right now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna see tap off a little bit oh yeah oh yeah now, if you do ink blending, this will excite you because I do ink blending. And like I said, I'd love to sit here all day, but I can't. I just can't because here starts to really bother me. Oh, this is revolutionary. Look at the depth. Come over here. Okay. Nifty. Cleaning it off again. Always clean them off, paper towel or microfiber. Let's try a different colorway. Let's go with one of these rounded ones. I have green on my original, shader zero, and then shader zero plus. So I'm gonna stick with green because I use these for leaves and such. Let's go with a light color. Let's see what happens with a light color. Frayed leaf from Altenew. <laughs> I'm inking them both up at the same time. You can see the colors, right? Dabbing them off. And. Oh, wait a second. I gotta come on in. Look at that. So this with the softer bristle does it quicker. This with the stiffer bristle work. Okay. So I can see. Like I had liked this brush before. But I can see that they went back and improved it. See, I came straight into the two. Wow, look at that. You can see how it absorbs too in here. Let's do a reveal. Oh, so then why did I cut this whole thing out for? See, I'm not even thinking. Like my whole present is like right here. <laughs> Crafters, help me. Help me, help me, help me. See, I tell you I'm not a good stenciler. I see this, I'm thinking one whole thing, but it's technically just up here. Oh, goodness. Were you guys talking to me? I wasn't hearing you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I could have just gone this way. Oh, that is so funny. I'm going to switch it up. Hold on. <laughs> Doing this demo on camera is probably not the best thing. I need to be quiet, full focus on that present stencil. I know. I get like that sometimes. Some things I have to have completely quiet, nothing going on, no distractions. Right now, we're just exploring 
these brand new blending brushes. So what you're looking for actually is anything with that plus. Shader one with the plus. I'm loving the shader one. I'm loving this one too. Shader zero. Zero will get in little, little tight little spots. Think of your flower centers and such. Here is an outline here for the A2. This one is that fall leaves background stencil. So I'm gonna cut my hammer mill down to an A2 using my new trimmer, which I can just put right here. <laughs> I'm resting it on top of my ink stand. Oh, that's funny. Got my hammer mill cardstock on my eight and a half inch grip mat. I have my fall leaf background. See the words fall leaf background and then waffle flower at the bottom. So you already know what your top side is and what the top of the stencil is and what the bottom of the stencil is. This time I'm coming in like so. I am using all the power of the grip mat. Let me come back in with purple wine. There is purples in fall. Shader one plus. Look how much color this thing, I tell you. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. It just comes on in. Next one. Comes on in. Come on, a little bit here. I want it. You know what's nice about this too? You can intensify down here and then blend out. But the blend out, I want to be a different color. That's why I'm stopping at that halfway point. This has a nice wine color for this. I'm going to go right here. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, it's only one of these I have. <laughs> Shader number three. I'm going to speed up the video here because we have already established that these are fabulous brushes. Look at that color combo. That's nice for fall. So mixing all to new with Gina K. Let's see. Can I soften? Yeah. It softens too. My favorite has to be this one, shader one. This one I have to practice and learn how to use, but I think it will have a place when you want lines and edges. This would be great for something you wanna really add and control your shading. That's what I can see this is really, really good for. Right now I'm just doing a loose thing, so I'm not really using this to its full potential but I can see where it can go. I'm loving this yellowy colorway. And you see how it lays down both light and dark? That's kind of nice too, like here. So I can tap it like so. Oh, this is fun. Then bring this back in with its nice soft, see, and blend. Look at that. Oh, L-O-V-E, love. Love, love, love. Loving this. You notice I'm not even going back to the original? <laughs> Blend this out. Let's see. Shader one plus again to the rescue. Two seconds. Done. All right. Loving. Let's bring in some greens. See, now I'm all excited. I'm awake now. <laughs> I love this fall stencil too. Perfect for the time of year that we're in. What shades of green do I want? Fresh asparagus, perfect fall color. So this was sweet corn with Altenew's purple wine. Yeah, they're happy together. They are very, very happy colors together. This one, fresh asparagus. And I wish I had another one of this. Let's go in with the oldie, shader one. Yes, I know I shouldn't do that, but at this point, this brush, yeah. Okay, see how I'm not even really getting full color? Some, but not like before. I'm working harder to lay down color, and it's much lighter, too. Yeah, it's much lighter, and this has more leaves. <laughs> and you notice that I'm kind of staying within my quadrant. I should have actually wiped this off, so let me wipe it. I tell you, I'm busy exploring these brushes more than I am focusing on the stenciling, which is bad, but good at the same time. You see how the microfiber cloth cleaned it up? You're not seeing any pink in this. Even though it is a pink brush, you're seeing the green. This does work, but you have to work it more. I'm glad that they said, you know, let's go back to the drawing board and improve it. And the improvement, two thumbs up. Definitely two thumbs up on the improvement. So loving the new plus brushes. Should have put a 
shader one with a thumbs up on it. <laughs> Cause it's that good. I did those leaves. I have one more, of course. And now my wrist is starting to hurt. See what's happening? Because I'm coming in fast and I'm coming in with a lot of pressure to get it done. That's not good for my hands. Just tapping off some of this ink because I still have more areas to go. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. On this, I'm going to use... See, I have a lot of these. Don't I have 15 of these? Let's take out another one. Hmm, honey mustard. Let's go with a brown for fall. Sweet corn. Love that color. You guys know I love my Gina K inks. Yes, I do. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, see, I'm just adding just that line. Okay, so it's good at this type of thing. See the line coming in? Okay, not mad at it. Look at that. And then, oh, that was a strong line. And then blend. Interesting. So with this one, I don't have to come in so heavy, heavy-handed. I'm a very heavy-handed inker, so I don't have to come in so heavy-handed. I come in lighter, and I'm still getting results. Oh, guys, mm -hmm. shader two plus. If you do a lot of small details like this, let's say you're doing little die cuts, little things all the time, this will be your best friend, this size. It gets in there and you can control it at this size. Let's try shader zero rounded, which I have here dedicated in the green, but I'm going to now change it. Let's see. You know, this is good too, but this one is giving me, I'm now starting to see the difference with this than this, because I'm shading the bottom of that leaf. So I think this one actually is performing better for me because I'm going here with that vein like that. Oh, so it fits in these tight little corners that you may have on a stencil. Pop a little bit in here and see what happens deepen this let me see what happens here oh it's making you want to ink blend oh this is lovely shader two plus i see your purpose now darling i see your purpose sweet corn i think is making another appearance but i'm using not the greatest brush in the world for it what i want to do is wide then again hold on coming in long way you see that look at that long way I'm just holding the ink I'm liking the sweet corn for fall she's a good color I really needed the other brush for this wide sizing because my wrist is starting to say hello can we be done it's starting to come together. All right, so that's Gina K, sweet corn. Well, we have sweet corn. Why not come in with a little bit of sweet mango? Sweet mango, orange. You know, I'm glad that this is 15 in the pack for the shader two plus. <laughs> I'm liking that it is 15. Look at that, come on. Yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. You see what's happening? I can come in straight like that. Create that veining that. Ooh, I'm having control. This one I'd have to practice with to figure where my sweet spot is with it. This one is like, it's coming instinctually. So I know Waffle Flower, they test things. That's why this has been such a runaway hit. This is not just a little sticky mat thing. It really does not rip your paper. It holds very well. It assists you in stamping straight. Last night I was stamping something four times I went on. No budge. Before with the magnet in the Misty, oh, everything was shifting. That's why I got the mini Misty, because I couldn't stamp a bunch of stamps in the original Misty. Now with the grip mat in there, I can lay out the whole thing with six stamps and stamp them all two, three, four times, because I would stamp an area, then down here would start going kind of fuzzy because of the magnet, it would shift. I don't know, I must be heavy handed, but at least this is compensating for my heavy handedness. Thumbs up, grip mat, your crafty assistant. But I'm loving how this is turning out. What? No. Nope. You see how bad that is? I just looked at it like, no, I want the plus. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, hold on, let me pick it up here. Cause these all to new fresh dye inks, they're for real. <laughs> 
they revamped their inks too. You see? So Waffle Flower revamped their blending brush and Altenew revamped their inks. Now you can get it more intense. This is great for people like me because there is nothing worse than pain in crafting and there's no reason for me to be in pain because I'm blending all day. I can't do it. It's just too much to sit there and blend all day. Come back in with this and blend it out. Look at that. Two seconds. I'm like, fixed it. Done. Move on. I love that. This is a winner, guys. I wasn't too sure if it was going to be a big difference, but now that I'm really getting into it here, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a winner. This is a new color I just picked up. Sandy Beach. I think it's a light color because I don't have another one of these. This is a smaller brown blending brush from my stash. I just want to get this in. It's not a bad color. It's almost like a khaki. I'm loving this color. What was it called? Sandy Beach. Oh, yeah. Just got this. So this is my first time using it. Ooh, pretty. So this is one of those bigger brushes. But now to do the detail, that's when you come back into these. But this bigger size, like, she does double duty. She can do the big and the small. Peach Bellini. I want to do like a red brown because everything else is so blended. So this one is called Peach Bellini. Just popping it in here. Oh, you can paint it out like this and it kind of feathers out. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Look at that. You see what it's doing? It's like fading by itself. Turn it this way for the stem. Like, you know, intense and then feather. See how it came in intense a while ago? And then feather out. Let me go again and feather out. Okay. And feather out. Feather, feather, feather. When you do it in circles, then it starts to feathering. Oh, this is nice. I think I'm learning how to use this little brush all by myself. <laughs> Come on in again. And feather. Ooh, crafters, look at that. I actually finished the stencil and it seems like it looks great. Let's see. I think I want to add some of these to my stash. Because they are, ooh, look at that. Pretty. Okay. It turned out kind of pretty, didn't it? With the purples and the yellows and the greens and the everything else. I over stencil, so I can see little spots that I over stencil. But overall, these brushes are fabulous. So in summary, shader one plus, big areas, lots of color. All of these soaks up the color. Shader three plus, this is one I'd have to practice more with to figure where the sweet spot is. This one surprises me now. Shader 2 plus because I'm getting that detail, but also at the same time able to feather it out. So this one is actually interesting. She's both detail shading and also smooth shading. Interesting. Now I have 15 of them. Shader 0. This is what I was using before just for like one spot. I think... This might serve more because I can feather it out. This one is very detailed. But if you need stuff that's very detailed, centers, that's what this one is good for too. That's what I had gotten it for in the first place. I noticed it still with the plus and before when I had this one. It's just this one picks up much more color than the previous sets. Alrighty, crafters. All of these goodies will be detailed and linked below. This is the new release of tools at Waffle Flower. They are fabulous. Look for the plus sign, okay? And check out their moving sale. Great deals on stencils, stamps, dies, and more. Also, Grip Mat. I used her fully here and she is just still a winner by far. This is eight and a half inch by eight and a half inch. I am loving it at this size. I could put little die cuts over here. Come on in with this. Oh yeah. Or the little one. Alrighty crafters. Everything detailed and linked below. I'm going to turn this into a card. Use it on my graphic. Alrighty crafters. Until the next video. Stay crafty my friends. And I still have to play with that. Fall postage collage too. Bye.